Hello, I'm Star with Rad Art Studios. This video is to teach you the basics. Before you can get to this level, you need to know the process. The first thing that you need to know is what airbrush is right for you. The first one we're going to cover today is the Iwata Revolution. So don't get caught up in the hype. Purchasing the most expensive airbrush is not going to make your artwork any better. We use the Iwata Revolution. It's reliable, it's inexpensive, and it's our workhorse. So before you run out and break the bank, you need to know the facts about the Iwata Revolution. This is the Iwata Revolution BCR. It is a siphon fed, which means you are required a bottle. You have a double action, which means you push down for air and you pull back for paint. The correct positioning that you need to have when you're airbrushing is you hold with your thumb and your middle finger on the stem that actually is connected to your air hose. You then softly let it relax on the back of your thumb, which requires now your tip of your index finger to have on the trigger so you can push and pull. The paints we are going to use today are House of Color. This is an automotive paint. You are required to wear a respirator and be in a well-ventilated area. You must read and follow all of the instructions on the back. First I'm going to go ahead and put some color in the eye. It is House of Color Oriental Blue. I put the blue in and now I'm just finishing up the black. Now I'm going to start with the detail of the eye. I'm going to go up to the lid. And shade around the inside of the lid. Finish off the corner. I went ahead and darkened some of the areas using a dagger stroke. You can use the dagger stroke at a distance for shading or you can use the dagger stroke to do the fine lines around the eye. At this point I'm going to airbrush detail. I do not want lines, I want shadows.
Now I'm going to add detail to the color of the eye using black softly. I added in some of the black lines around the eye and I also added in some dagger strokes that radiate outwards towards from the pupil. Now I'm going to go ahead and put white, soften these edges around the, the color part of the eye, add a little white and here's the gleam of the eye and also add in some white detail to the lid. I hope this demonstrates the quality of the Wada Revolution for you. For more information, go to our website and click on the Getting Started button. Thank you.